Welcome to another Forex Weekly Forecast with Blue Pips Forex. I'm Francis and in this video I'm going to be talking about gold, AUD, CHF, CHF, JPY, Euro, USD and Pound, JPY. And as usual, I'll be making a full breakdown of this space. So, um, I suggest you stick to the end to get the full value from this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so to enable you to get our content the moment you upload a new video. So, without further ado, let's get down to the video. Alright, so this is the weekly time frame on gold and what we can immediately see is that we had this impulse after this impulse this could be a correction for the next impulse higher uh, so from the weekly time frame on gold we have a situation where the price could be making a retracement for the next move higher also if we should zoom in a little bit closer we are going to see that this area was support back here to support around there and when the price broke there was resistance at this point and um, this week has closed above this um, 1853.17 resistance so now that we have a weekly close above resistance that resistance has become support and we expect to see continuation higher into um, this channel resistance or even the horizontal resistance at 1926.86 over the next few weeks so let's see what we have from the daily time frame all right so on the daily time frame on this pair what we can see is that we are the um, next daily level of structure at this point here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We are the next daily level of resistance at this point here, and the um, the week closed above that level. We can see Thursday closed above, and Friday I just made a little bit of retracement. So um, what we we'll expect this coming week will be to see a daily rejection. Of this level so we are going to see the rejection of this level then with a good signal from the area we are going to be taking a good trade with um, good risk to reward to the next level of resistance at this area and this is the next daily level of resistance at 1910.38 so we'll be taking a long trade from this area to this area over the next few um, days or weeks as the case may be if we are going to get a good rejection of this um, level of support right here Okay, so the next pair on our list is AUDCHF, and what we can see first of all is this descending um, channel right here. You can see that from this area, the price made it down to support, found support here once again, came to resistance, and just glided around this resistance for some time before this next move down to support. And now the price is rising, and we expect to see the price touch this area of resistance or even possibly. This horizontal resistance at this point over the next few months as the case may be so we expect to see the price touch this resist um, trend line as this channel resistance at least so that's what we have on the weekly time frame all right so on the weekly time frame what we can immediately see is that the price has been trapped within this range for at least um for at least 26 weeks or thereabouts and from this area you can see we had resistance support resistance support resistance support and then we had a fake break below then price came back to resistance and from this area we just had this small push downwards before the price is climbing higher so now if we are looking closer we see that um this um, last week has closed above that level of support right there so now with a weekly close above that support what we can expect next will be the, the rise to resistance at um 68.82 over the next few weeks mind you this is the next weekly level of resistance we expect the price to get to over the next few weeks so let's see what we have from daily time frame all right so um here we have the daily time frame of um AUDCHF, and what we can immediately see on the daily time frame is that after thursday's close above this level of resistance the price just went up a little bit and then Friday just gave us a little bit of um, consolidation around there with this candle right here. So now this candle could mean two things. This could mean uh, we can expect to see the price come back to this area over probably Monday or Tuesday. Give us a daily rejection of this area. So we are going to get a daily rejection of this 6708 um, support then. Um, with a good risk to reward, we are going to be taking a long trade straight to our next daily level of resistance at 67.99 over the next few days, as the case may be. But if we are not going to see the price um, 
drop down to this area and reject this area say we just see a daily close above this area then on the retest um, we'll be on the smaller time frames looking for good um, trading opportunities for the next long trade to um, 67 over the next few weeks but if um, on the other hand we just see the price just um, drop further then it means we can't take a buy trade anymore on this pair we can't even trade this pair anymore so we'll just be on the sidelines to sell the weekly close and that's what we determine um, where we expect the price to go within the next few weeks as the case may be so that's all on AUD CHF next pair on our list is CHFJPY and what we can immediately see on CHFJPY is a market that um, has found support at this area of structure right so you can see that area was um, resistance back here and when the price came back to this area that area acted as support and price has repelled the price and we expect the price to rise to this area over the next few months as the case may be however the price is currently at um, resistance now but we will talk about that on the weekly time frame so from the monthly time frame taking the uptrend we already have we expect to see the price rise to this area of structure all right so on the weekly time frame uh, we have resistance at this point we can see that two weeks ago we had rejection of resistance with this candle right here and um, this week has also rejected once again with that candle right there so with this um, rejections what we can expect next will be for the price to drop down to um, 15.79 over the next few days or weeks as the case may be so before we start looking for any long trade on this pair that will be if and only if we get a weekly close above this 17.58 level of um, resistance because remember resistance remains resistance until it becomes support so if we are not going to see a weekly close above this area we obviously cannot be looking for any long trades out of this pair and as long as the price keeps rejecting this area we expect to see the price drop to the next level of weekly support at this area over the next few weeks so let's see what we have from the daily time frame all right so um this is the daily time frame of chf japan what we can immediately see is that we have an horizontal level of daily support at this point right here um if you look closely you see that from this area the price found support here came back to resistance and gave us a um daily close below this area of structure right here so with that daily close um what we could have been expecting was continuation lower to this area um after a retest of this resistance right here but according to what we can see right here the day has closed back above that um resistance so with the price closing above that resistance we cannot be looking for any short trade yet because the price could bounce off this area as support and just continue higher and that's not what we want to see what we want to see is a drop in the price so as long as this area um, remains support we cannot be looking for any short trade so what we will expect to see will be a daily close back below this um, 16 86 level if we see a daily close below the area then the retest of that area as resistance that's when we'll be taking our short trade to um 15 over the next few days or weeks as the case may be so the next pair on our list is euro usd and um, what we can see is that um after the break of this um descending trend line right here we had the retest at this point after the retest we expect the price to make it up to resistance that's the next monthly level of resistance at 24.93 over the next few months as the case may be so that's what we have from the weekly time frame all right so this is the weekly time frame on um euro usd and um we can see that we just had a weekly close above this area and the last time I talked about um, Euro USD, we expected to see the price drop to this low right here because of this rejection we had here. And we stated that if the week should close above, unless the week will close above um, 2163 level of resistance, we cannot be taking any long trades. And now the week has closed above that level of resistance. So what we expect is continuation higher, like we already said from the monthly time frame. So the monthly and weekly time frame are aligning for continuation. Uh, so that's what we have from the daily time frame. Alright, so this is the daily time frame 
on um, EuroUSD and we've spoken about EuroUSD a couple of times in the past. Um, I spoke about it when it was around here, I think when it just from this first um, bearish candle right here. And we expected to see the price um, drop because we had resistance at this point, um, probably into this lows right here. But um, the price found support here, and then when the price was around there, we made another um, breakdown of this pair, um, explaining all the reasons why I wanted to see the price drop to this area and possibly this area. But you can see that the price just kept on climbing and never gave us an opportunity to take a trade. We also said that um, only if we get a weekly close above this area, that's the only time we can start looking for long trades out of this pair. So now. Um, what we want to see is continuation higher, like I already said, from the weekly time frame. So from the daily time frame now, we are at daily level of resistance, which means as usual, we cannot take a long trade yet. So what we want to see is either for the price to draw back to support at this point, reject this area as support. And if we are going to get that rejection of this area as support, then um, what we want to see next will be um, continuation higher. But if you're not going to see the price drop to this support, um, what we then want to see next will be um, for the price to give us a daily close above this um, 2260 level. We are going to see a daily close above that, then on the retest, we are going to be taking a long trade into this resistance at this point and possibly this resistance at this point over the next few days or weeks, as the case may be. So that's it with um, EURUSD. Alright, so the next pair on our list is um, pound JPY. And what we can see, first of all, is that we, are, we have the market that is trapped within this multi year triangle right here. And as long as the price will remain between this, within this triangle, uh, we can expect more consolidation from this pair. So, right now, we can see that from support, the price got to this resistance here, failed to touch this um, descending tr um, trend line right here. So, now we expect to see the price get to this area again and at least touch this resistance at this point over the next few months. So that's what we have from the weekly time frame. Alright, so this is the weekly time frame and what we can see is that from this area right here, the price made the first move down. It's this ascending trend line support at this point. As you can see from this area we had support at this point, we had support, we had support once again at this point. So the price came, it's this support, came back to resistance at this point rejected the area as resistance and came back once again to support. The price found support at this area once again and that started rising. So um, you can see that we had a weekly close above this resistance at this point at this point right here. After the weekly close of the resistance, last two weeks rejected that res resistance and then um, this week has given us the first impulsive bullish candle. So what we'd expect within this week will be continuation to this um, eyes right here. So let's see what we have from the daily time frame. Alright, so from daily time frame what we can see is that the price is trapped within a range right here. And um, as long as the price will remain within this range, we cannot be looking for any long trade. So um, what we can see again is that this um, Friday scandal and golf towards this candle, which means we um, what will most likely happen is um, probably a drop back to support at this point or maybe just a little bit of consolidation before the move higher. So um, at this point with the price rejecting resistance like this we cannot take any long trade at the moment. So what we want to see is for the price to come down to support. Uh, but now despite the fact that we have um, an engulfing candle right here we, can, we are not interested in this short trade because from the weekly time frame what we want to see is um a long trade so we are not interested in this short trade because the price could just maybe come a little bit and start a move higher and you'll be forced to take out a loss which is unnecessary so what i would expect to see will be for the price to make it down to support at this point if the price will make it down to support at this point and give a good rejection of this support then um with a good entry reason i can take a long trade and close back at this um, resistance and the reason why I am closing at this resistance if I'll get an entry from down here is because of this range we have right here so as long as um, this range remains intact the price could just hit this area and come back down again and it will not be wise 
to just throw away about um about 200 pips right there maybe uh, 300 pips soon be wise to just throw all of that out the window because you want to take out this target right here so what i would expect will be if the price will come down to this area and i'll take a long trade and close at this resistance at 40 31 if i'm going to get um a daily close above this resistance at 40 31 say i get a daily close then on the retest of resistance as support then i'll take the next long trade back into 42 um 39 over the next few um days or weeks as the case may be so before we sign out um i'll just do a quick recap of what we expect so from the daily time frame of um from gold what we expect is a rejection a daily rejection of this area and then continuation i had to the next day level of resistance at this point but if the price will fail to reject it and just give um continue to move lower then we won't be able to take a short trade a long trade anymore we won't be interested in trading this pair again on AUDCHF we expect to see that rejection of this area and then continuation area or um, a daily close above 6746 then a retest as support and continuation area but if the price will just fail to reject here and just continue lower obviously we cannot be taking any long trade anymore on this pair on um, CHFJPY we expect to see a daily close back below um 1686 then a retest of that area as resistance before continuation lower to this area that's what we expect but as the price is now the price will just continue rising then obviously we cannot take any um short trade out of this pair again uh, we just sit on the sidelines and allow the week end before we can make our decision on how to trade um how we'll be approaching this pair um from the coming week Okay, so on EURUSD, what we expect is for the price to retest this area and give a good entry reason for the next buy trade to resistance at this point right here. It'll give us a daily close above this area and on the retest we are going to be looking for um, long entries into resistance at this point. But if the price will decide to come down here and fail to find support at this point, say the price just keeps coming down, obviously we can't take any trade here again because um, the price would have broken um, support and um, you cannot be taking a long trade like that anymore so um, what we want to see is rejection for continuation higher on pound um, JPY we want to see the price make it down to support at this point reject then we want to close at this area first if we get a daily close above we want to see take continuation back up into this high or we want to see the price give us a daily close above here then on the retest we take our long trade to this eye but as usual if the price will just drop down to this area and keep moving down instead of rejecting this area obviously we cannot take any um long trade in that kind of situation or we just do sit on the sidelines and um observe what is happening in the market so this is going to be all on uh, um our weekly forecast if you enjoyed this video, do smash the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell notification to enable you to get our content the moment we upload a new video. Until we meet in the next video, do have yourself a wonderful weekend.